Hey, what's up friends? This is uh, Jason coming at you again. Another video here. Uh, once again, I apologize for not putting up uh, very many videos lately. This is another video in the uh, recommended to me series I'm doing. And this movie was recommended to me by uh, John or Savini1979. And this is Doghouse. And uh, first of all, John, I want to apologize for not getting this up sooner. Um, I know I watched it, was it probably two months ago? And, uh, you know, I, I told you that I watched it and I was going to do a review of it, but I wanted to watch it again because I really just didn't have a very good uh, feeling of it. I was kind of busy doing something else while I was watching it, so I wanted to sit down and watch it again, give it a proper watch before I did a, a review on it, so I'd be a little more comfortable with it. But Anyway, man, sorry it took so long, but here it is. And a Doghouse. This is a, a British a zombie film, and it's it's a comedy as well. And a lot of people compare it to Shaun of the Dead and you know other films like that. I really don't don't want to compare it to Shaun of the Dead because I feel like it's a it's a different type of film. It's a different type of humor to me. Uh, but you know, I enjoy both of the films, like I said, but. <clears throat> This is a really funny film, and it's, uh, let's see, directed by, sorry, it's not here now, it's not here in the U.S., so I have to, uh, I had to download it to, to even give it a watch, but I was looking to, looking it up on IMDb to see who directed it. Jake West is who directed this film, and um, I hope this gets a release in the U.S. sometime soon. But the basic plot line of this is uh, one of the uh, there, there's a big group of friends. It's like six guys, and they're all really good friends. And one of them is going through a really bad divorce, and you know he's not handling it very well, and uh, this and this. But his friends want to you know kind of help him get out of that slump and. They hear about this place where uh, the women outnumber the men three to one. And it's like a remote village out in the middle of nowhere out in the country. So they get get him and take a big road trip over there. And all these guys are having problems with women. Except for one is a homosexual. And he's having problems with uh, his uh, significant other. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's all that's, that's basically how the film gets started. They're all having problems with, with women and it all shows them in their various situations, and, and that was pretty cool. I like the opening scene a lot. <clears throat> but as soon as they get to this village, you know, they realize something's up. And the whole deal is the, the women, the women there, it, it was part of a government experiment where only the women, they turn into zombies. Some sort of a virus turns the women into zombies, not the men, just the women. And the women go crazy and start killing the men and that's basically what it is and from from that point on they're basically running from the zombie females and um, you know trying to not get killed but <clears throat> a lot of really cool gore effects in there and uh, it's pretty funny a lot of the scenes in the movie are really funny and a lot of the different uh, the, the costume design of some of the different females is really cool. Like, they have one that's a bride, and one is, like, really fat and horribly obnoxious and just terrible. And, and uh, I see one has a pair of scissors that she comes at you with, and there's really cool sound effects on the scissors. And I see another one has a, a huge sword, and I don't know what exactly she's supposed to be, like some sort of dominatrix or something, but that's cool. And, um... Yeah, that's, that's basically all I want to say about the film. I don't want to give anything away, but I, I would say definitely check it out if you're a fan of zombie films or uh, zombie comedies or zombies, whatever the fuck they want to call it. Seems to be a common trend these days, but this one really stood out to me. Um, some of the best films I saw in in 2009 were out, out of the UK and, and out of Europe in general. Like... It really was a, a, a shitty year for American releases, in my opinion. I mean, just about all the stuff I've been watching is, is not from here. It is probably out of Europe. 
And uh, another review I'm going to do up soon is, is another UK film. And uh, just lots of really cool shit coming out of there. I'd say keep an eye on them. Um, you know, they got The Descent 2 is coming out soon. So, you guys, I know it's probably coming out over there first. So, so let me know if it's any good. Anyway, uh, sorry for this shitty review. I'm, I'm trying to uh, go to work real quick. But <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys.